How to Enroll in Harvard's CS50 Introduction to Computer Science Course. Step 1. Go to cs50.harvard.edu forward slash x. This is the direct website to the CS50 course. It does not go through Coursera. It doesn't go through any third party. This is coming straight from CS50 at Harvard. Over here on the left, you can see all of the courses that they offer. And if you're not sure which course you need to start with, take a look at the video below, the CS50 roadmap. Over there, it'll help you decide which course to start with. But for the rest of this video, I'm assuming that you want to start with their main course. And the sign up process is the same for any of the other courses. Scroll up and click on Visual Studio Code. Click on Login. If you don't have a GitHub account, create a new one. Follow the instructions on that screen. And once you have your account verified, you would log in here. It might ask you to verify your email again. In my case, it's sending me an email with a code to log in. Go on my email, get the code, type in the code, and it's verifying. And then it's going to ask you if you authorize. Click Authorize CS50. And here we go. We are ready here to do all of our coding with the environment that the course provides. Now, the next step from here would be to go back to the course and start learning. So let's say that we're doing week zero. I would click on that, watch the lecture. After I finish watching the lecture, I would click down here, problem set zero in this case, and follow the instructions on the screen here. So we already installed Chrome and we need to submit starting from scratch. So I'll click on this. I need to follow all the steps here. Once I do that, I'll be able to code up my project. In this case, it's via Scratch, which is like a separate application. Almost has nothing to do with CS50. It's its own independent thing. You do all of your homework there, but what you can do is you can download whatever you create on their app. You can download it as a file, specifically as a .sb3 file. And in this file, you would need to upload that to here, like to the actual course. So what I would do here is I would visit this link. It's going to ask me to authorize CS50. I would click authorize CS50. And then from now on, I don't think you need to do this for every single homework. This only shows up for problems at zero for the first one. And once your all of your accounts are linked, every homework that you submit after this, it's going to be linked to your grade book. I'm just gonna click on here and join the course. And while this is loading, I'm just gonna go back here for a second and go back to CS50, back to week zero, and back to problem set zero, starting from scratch, just to go over all of this. So again, they asking us to authorize CS50, and I have to make sure that I'm joining the course, which I did already. It loaded. It's, it took a while, but it loaded. And now you see it says here I have no submissions. I basically have an empty grade book here. I just started the course. And basically, for example, to submit this first homework, I would just go on this link here. And as you could see, it's already linked to my account. So I would just browse for that file and submit it. For the homeworks after that, where there's actual coding involved in the code space that we just created here. So again, whenever you want to access that, you just go on Visual Studio Code, click on Login, and it should load you up on your code space. This is where you're going to do all of your coding. I believe that this already has the CS50 library installed in it. You just need to call it. Like if you're writing, a, a, let's say, a Python file at the top of the Python, you need to import that library, for example. Or, or if you're writing a, a C file, 
And so for the problem set one here, for example, let's say that it's um, you're trying to submit Mario, which is you know associated with the first homework of CS50. It's it's been the first homework of CS50 for a long time. Basically, what you need to do is you need to follow the instructions here. But the idea here behind all this is that in your code space, you can um, you can create folders. And so here you can make a new folder. Let's just call it Mario less. And you can change where you are. You can kind of like tab into that folder. Now that we are inside of the Mario less folder here, we would create our file, work on it, work on the homework. And whenever we are ready to submit, we would first check that file afterwards we would style it check it for styling and then afterwards we would run this command inside making sure that we are inside our mario less folder with our file that we worked on in that folder we would run it's not letting me paste but you would just paste that link onto here actually it's telling me that i haven't granted access for this website to read from the clipboard so this is actually a setting inside of my Firefox or Chrome or whatever it is that you're using. But all you would do here is paste that link and hit enter and it will submit. It will automatically upload your homework to your notebook and you would see it in here within minutes and within a bit, you would also see the grade here and your progress. Also, you would see your progress. You can click on courses. You'll see that you're enrolled for this course here. And once you submit all the homeworks for all the weeks here and you also submit your final project you will be able to go to this CS50 certificate so you click on that and you can actually print out a certificate for free from Harvard all you do is you click on the link here CS50 certificate it might ask you to log in once you log in you will see your certificates here. You just click on it and there it is.